What's up YouTube, in this tutorial we are going to look at how to cut away the background of an image using Adobe Photoshop. What we're going to do is we're going to cut away the player from the background so that we are just left with a player with a transparent background. So first of all let's select the pen tool right here and now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to zoom in onto the image we want to be able to get real close to it so can we, we can make some points as exact as possible. Two ways of doing this, you can either hold down the control key or the command key on your computer and press the plus key to zoom in and then you can uh, hold down the space bar and drag. But what I like to do to zoom in and out is holding down the alt key and using the scroll wheel on my mouse to direct where I zoom into. So if I want to zoom in on his head, I put his my put my mouse by his head and then I simply hold down the alt key and I zoom in. But I want to start from the bottom right here. Around about here will do. Now what I want to do is I want to make my first point down here. And basically I'm going to follow the line up. Now you can curve the line like so by clicking and dragging and basically wherever the line sits this line right here this is where it's going to cut now if i were to make another point going up here for example it would bend around you see how it, it hits this point and it bends back around now we don't want it to do that now a way to avoid this is if we just quickly undo that Hold down the ALT key, click the uh, anchor point, and we're going to angle it back. I'm going to stretch and we're going to try and angle it back onto the line, like so. Now you notice that this one has gone slightly in a little bit. We can actually indeed move that out to adjust it. But obviously this one comes back out again, so we're going to have to learn to compromise. So that is going to have to do for now. Um, and what you're going to basically do is continue to pinpoint around the edges of the player or whatever you may be working with. So. I'm just going to go roughly. You can do little clicks, little quick clicks around the object like so, but I would advise going around it a lot more carefully. Just like so. Holding down the space bar and dragging to get around the picture. Remembering, remembering to stay zoomed in for the best precision. And basically, if you just follow around the shape, like so. You're going to get a rough outline of it. That was a little bit wonky, that one. But you see, you see how I'm doing it, I'm sure. Obviously, I'm going a little bit quicker just for the sake of the tutorial. I'm sure that when you do this yourself, you're going to be a lot more careful and a lot more accurate. Well, I, I hope so, anyway. But basically this is how you do it. What I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to stop here and I'm going to come back when I've made it all the way up to this little center point up here. And I'm going to show you what to do next. Alright guys, so I've now made it to the top of this guy's helmet. And yeah, it does look a little bit wonky, but that is because I did in fact rush myself to get up here just for tutorial's sake. But I'm sure yours will be a lot more set to the curve of, or to the points of your picture. 
So now what you want to do when you've made it about halfway up, you're going to select the last point you made and then click off anywhere off of the picture. Zoom back out and basically just make a selection outside of the artboard area, link it back up and now you want to double click on the layer unless your layer is already, unless your layer isn't a background layer but if it is, double click on it, click OK and now that you've made this selection what you want to do is you want to go to paths you want to double click on it click ok and you want to click this little uh, dotted circle circular shape at the bottom here it will make a uh, selection of the path that you just created you want to go back into layers select the layer that you wish to delete it from and click delete and as you can see it has now deleted all of that selection that I've made if you press command D or control D if you're on uh, Windows it removes that selection and we can see now that it has removed the background of that part of the image now all you need to do is do the same thing that you did before but for the rest of the parts of the image so I need to do this area here this area by his elbow and the rest of the background and yeah that's pretty much it guys so yeah that's it that is how you cut out an image from a background uh, the only other thing you need to know is that if you are going to save it you need to remember to save it as a PNG file uh, let me just show you how you do that you go file save as and uh, PNG let's just say this as example and click save okay and now let me just quickly make a, a new document for example sake make it a 3000 by 3000 open that up I'm gonna change the uh, background color to um, to black and I'm going to grab my image here is example drop him in and as you can see the background of this section has remo been removed so yeah that is basically how you do it guys so I hope that was uh, easy enough for you and I hope it helped you out leave a comment if you have any questions uh, give the video a thumbs up if you if it helped you out shows others that it's a helpful video and subscribe if you want more tutorials peace guys